now here there's a picture and you can see many things in the picture right can you name them hmm yes very good what is this ah right a table lamp a tree an elephant a table a cow a chair ah here there's a family a car and a plant now when you look here you can see that i have divided them into groups right now can you tell me how i have divided them into groups on what basis i have divided them into groups ah living things and non living things now you have studied about living things and non living things last year itself right yes you have studied about living things and non living things you learned that there are many things that the living things can do which non living things cannot right so what was the first thing we studied we learned that living things need what do they need living things need food yes living things need food they need food to grow now plants how do plants get their food the plants prepare their own food we know that plants prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis right very good and what about animals yes very good you all know that animals depend on plants directly or indirectly for their food we have studied about interdependency right we learned that plants and animals depend on each other very good now what is the next thing we learned living things move living things move we studied that living things like animals and human beings they move from one place to another place when they move from one place to another place it is called as loco motion and plants also show movement but in only some parts like the touch me not plant yes you have seen the leaves move in the touch me not plant right but animals they move from one place to another place and it is called as loco motion and the animals they run walk jump fly or swim and what else we did we study about animals ah we learned that living things grow the living things grow we have learned that a chick will grow into a hen a cub will grow into a lion a baby will grow into a man or a girl right a man or a woman now anything else yes we studied that living things reproduce all living things reproduce living things reproduce animals either give birth to their young ones or lay eggs from which the young ones hatch out so our next chapter is reproduction in animals it is reproduction in animals so you know all animals they grow they eat they move around but what will happen if they do not produce more of their own kind what will happen if they don't give birth to their babies or lay eggs hmm? then there will be no more animals right yes so reproduction is very important because if animals do not produce more of their own kind what will happen there will be no life on earth the process by which living things produce their offspring that is called as reproduction 
the process by which living things produce their offspring do you know what is the meaning of the word offspring children babies so the process by which living things produce their babies that is called as reproduction so all these animals they will be reproducing right now animals can be grouped into two the animals that give birth to offsprings and animals that lay eggs and from these eggs eventually what will happen an offspring will hatch out okay so animals can be grouped into two those that give birth to their offsprings and those that lay eggs from which an young one will hatch out and what will happen if animals don't reproduce there will be no life on earth animals are grouped into two those that give birth to offspring and those that lay eggs animals are grouped into two those that give birth to offspring offspring means young ones and those that lay eggs and the eggs will eventually hatch into offspring so these are some animals elephant lion zebra there are many animals here so can you tell me what is common among these animals yes all these animals give birth to their offspring the animals that give birth to their young ones are called mammals so all these animals are mammals animals that give birth to their young ones are called mammals animals that lay eggs can you name some animals that lay eggs can you name them birds right birds lay eggs but only birds lay eggs no snakes insects fish frogs all are animals that lay eggs all these animals lay eggs not only birds but all these animals fish snake lizard frog they all lay eggs animals that lay eggs as i already told you not only birds animals that lay eggs birds amphibians aquatic animals reptiles what are the animals that lay eggs birds amphibians aquatic animals reptiles these are all animals that lay eggs birds birds lays eggs right birds lay eggs what does a bird do after it lays eggs where does a bird lay its eggs yes it builds a nest right it makes a nest and then it lays eggs inside the nest and after that what does it do does it fly away no it sits on the eggs the bird lays eggs in a nest and sits on them why does it sit on them to keep the egg warm bird lays eggs in a nest and sits on them to keep them warm and after some time the eggs will hatch and a baby bird will come out 
amphibians animals that live both on land and in water are called amphibians amphibians like frogs they lay their eggs in water they lay hundreds and hundreds of eggs in water amphibians like frogs they lay their eggs in water amphibians are animals that live both on land and in water aquatic animals what are aquatic animals animals that live in water fish they also lay eggs fish lay hundreds and hundreds of eggs in water insects insects like mosquito ladybird butterfly they also lay hundreds of eggs reptiles reptiles like lizard and snakes also lay eggs do you know that reptiles have a special skin yes the reptiles are covered in special skin that is made of scales or bony plates and the reptiles they lay eggs